In this video, I'm going to be discussing artist Titian and his paintings. More so, I want to go into depth with two particular paintings in which display women in nude. Before I begin, I want to give a little background on the artist Titian. He was actually born Tiziano Vesilio. He was born roughly around 1490 in Pieve de Cadore, Italy. At the age of 10, he moved to Venice with his older brother. His older brother was also an artist. Titian was able to apprentice under artists such as Zuccato. He later apprenticed to Gentile Bellini. After Gentile's death, he went to work for his brother Gianni Bellini. And at the time, Bellini was a very well-known painter. In Venice. It was through his time there that he was able to meet Giorgione, a previous apprentice of Bellini. Giorgione helped develop Titian's early style. So much that it was hard to tell who painted what because their styles were so similar. Titian was very versatile as to what he painted. He would do portraits, mythology, and even religion. Titian also always had an interest in color, and that's what we see repeatedly in his paintings. The movement during the 1500s was the period of Renaissance. In Renaissance art, we see art characterized by naturalism and realism. Roughly around 1527, classical humanism and Christian faith led to a new style, which was mannerism. Mannerism accentuated subjects' bodies, stretched, and not ideal realism compared to Renaissance painting. Titian didn't lead towards one or the other. He was able to incorporate all of them with his style. He was even able to incorporate mannerism into the two paintings I chose to go over. The top painting is Venus of Urbino, and the bottom painting is Danae by Titian. As I mentioned earlier, Titian apprenticed under Giorgione. This painting here is Sleeping Venus. It is said that in 1510, Giorgione died and it was finished off by Titian. We see moving forward, there is a repeated theme of a Venus reclined. This is Titian's painting Venus of Urbino and as you can tell there is a resemblance with this painting and the painting of Giorgione. In this piece we see the nude subject Venus reclined on the couch. Nude human forms of these gods was very common. We see the movement of her body as we make our way down to her feet to see two other subjects in the background. Here Venus is our focal point. She is very relaxed and is almost very sensual about it. The gaze in her face also gives a sensation of desire. Titian uses chioscuro to highlight and contrast her soft warm skin against the silk sheets. And towards the end of the sheets, we see a small dog. We also can tell that Venus's body in proportion to the other subjects is way bigger. In this painting, you also get a sense of domestication, given her location being inside as well as having a dog nearby. You can also tell because of the two maids in the background. So although her body is free, we can, we can assume that she may possibly get dressed later. Titian also included mannerism in this painting. As we see... Venus's torso is very accentuated and long, and as we go further down, we see how tiny her feet are, contradicting the traditional laws of proportion. Moving forward, we have here Titian's Danae. Here in this piece, again, we have a nude woman reclining on a couch as well, wrapped around in silky sheets. We see her relax, gazing over what seems to be a cloud of gold. We can see the beauty in the subject given her jewelry and her beautiful face. In the story of Danae, Zeus became fond of her and impregnated her through the shower gold. 
an oracle had told Danae's father that his grandson would kill him, so he locked her up in a tower with her child. We start to see similarities with this painting and the previous painting, given that they're both indoors. We see that they're surrounded by lavish things, and we can see the landscape in the background. We see a sense of movement in this painting as well. To our right, we have what is Cupid, and as we go down to her small feet and make our way up through her long torso up to her face, we get to that shower of gold. Paintings like these really inspired multiple paintings in the future to show nude women reclining. Looking at both pictures, we can tell that Titian depicted these women domesticated by keeping them indoors. We see that with both figures in the paintings, they are both gazing, wanting to be looked at or admired. We see them both very relaxed, displaying their beauty, whether it be looking directly or away from the viewer. Titian depicted these nude women to be desired. His paintings also have a sense of seduction, power, and disguise.